One snap and all those germs will disappear. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. Hi there, I'm Parajetta, and every week I'm getting crafty and nerding out with a new geeky DIY project for you guys. If that sounds awesome, hit that subscribe button down below to join our nerd DIY family. As you probably already guessed, today we're going to be making our very own DIY hand sanitizer. But it wouldn't be a Parajetta video if we didn't make this a little bit nerdy. So we're going to take it one step further and make all of our hand sanitizer the Infinity Gauntlet. So why don't we get started? The first thing you're going to want to do is grab a mixing bowl and you're going to put two thirds of a cup of 91% or higher isopropyl alcohol. You want to make sure that it's 91% or higher otherwise it won't kill the germs so no 70 percent alcohol we want to have 91 percent or higher make sure that you look at the label and get the right one because this is very important it will not work otherwise next you're going to get some clear aloe vera gel and you're going to do one third cup of that we want to make sure that we have more alcohol than aloe vera gel in our ratios to make this so that it will kill those germs now this next step is optional so you can do this if you want or not but I put a few drops of tea tree oil in to help it smell good and to give it a little bit of extra disinfectant. Now to add some sparkles to the mix you're going to use some cosmetic grade glitter and you're going to put as much of this as you want into your mixture. I did a few scrapes of it from this uh, sparkly glitter overcoat eyeshadow that I found. I think it was LA Girl. It was pretty cheap and works really well. Then you're going to mix all of that together with a spoon. It doesn't quite mix perfectly. It is a little bit separated so try and get it as mixed as you can. I got these three ounce clear bottles from CVS that we're going to put our hand sanitizer in. So make sure that you have six of those. Next, we're going to take our mixture and we're going to separate them out so that we can get them colored. I separated them into three ounces a piece. I have a food scale that I use to do this with. Each batch makes about six ounces, so you'll be able to use two bottles for each batch. So I ended up making three batches of this to make our entire Infinity Gauntlet. Now we're just going to use some regular old food coloring to mix in our colors. You want to make sure that you only do one drop of this, otherwise you're going to get your hands colored when you use it. So one drop will be plenty. So this one I'm making red. Then you're going to grab a funnel and put it into your three ounce container and we're going to pour our mixture in. It just makes it a lot easier if you have a funnel to do this. Once it's all in, you want to screw on the cap and then shake it together as much as you can to get that mixture really mixed up. And then you have your hand sanitizer. Now we're going to do the rest of our colors. We did one drop of blue, one drop of yellow, and then to make orange, I did one drop of red and one drop of yellow and mix that together. Then one drop of green. And to make purple, I did one drop of red and one drop of blue. Now to add a little bit more fun to the mix, I had these uh, kind of sparkly scrapbooking jewels that I had. And I thought it would be fun to put them on top to give that real like sparkly jewel look to these. So I just put red on red, blue on blue, purple on purple, green on green yellow on yellow and I didn't have an orange one so I just put another yellow one on there and it made them look so super cute and added that little bit of extra fun. And now we have our perfect hand sanitizing infinity gauntlet to kill all of those terrible germs. To use this you just open up the cap, squirt some on your hands and make sure that you rub it all the way in. And as you can see there's no worry about getting the food coloring on our hands. I super love this hand sanitizer. It smells really good with that essential oil in there and the extra sparkle that we added is just awesome. You get a little bit of sparkle on your hands and it just looks so super cute. I love it so much. <laughs> and just be sure to give this a big shake before you use it just to make sure that all the aloe is mixed in. Sometimes it can get a little bit separated, but other than that, it's pretty good hand sanitizer and it'll do in a pinch. I'll see you guys next week for another DIY project where we get crafty and nerd out. <laughs>